Hey, this is Terry Toots with a quick tutorial on creating a big telephoto sunset in Terrigen 4. This sky-filling sun is something you'll often see in tropical or ocean images. We'll cover a basic method for creating this effect today, but as always, there's lots of room to experiment, and I'll point you towards some more in-depth resources at the end of the video. We'll start out in the default scene, where the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the default terrain and put in a big lake. We'll come into the surface shader and bring down the roughness quite a bit. Make the waves a bit larger and increase the wind patch. We'll also increase the reflectivity and highlight intensity and turn off transparency, which will save us some render time. Next, come over to the Atmosphere tab and bring the haze density up quite a bit as well and the red sky decay and cut the blue sky additive. We'll also bump the number of atmosphere samples up to 32. Next, we need to bring our sun down to the horizon. Come into the Lighting tab, bring the sun around to a heading of 0 and an elevation of something around 0.4. Now we need to zoom in. Bring the camera down close to the water and try to point it at the sun. It may be helpful to use the manual camera controls. Be sure to save your camera position when you're done. Next, go to the camera tab and change the field of view to five degrees, which is going to give us about a 400 millimeter lens. You may need to adjust the camera position a bit more once you're zoomed in. This gets us in pretty close, but because this is Terrigen, we can cheat a little bit and just increase the angular diameter of the sun up to 1.5. The next step is to try to match up the reflection in the water with the disk of the sun. This can take some trial and error because neither of them show up very well in the preview. But the general idea is to adjust the minimum highlight spread in the water shader until the width of the highlight is a little bit less than the sun. 0 0.5 worked pretty well here. To finish things off, let's throw in a cloud layer to give some interesting silhouettes against the sun, and there you have it. A nice big sun with a gradient up from the horizon, ready for some surfers in the foreground, or birds, or whatever else you can dream up. Like anything in Terrigen, there are a lot of ways to improve on this basic technique, and I've included links in the description to some interesting but more involved methods for this type of scene that can add an atmospheric distortion effect to your sun, giving it the rippling edges you sometimes see in photographs.